S. M. Sultan is a famous painter of our country. He was born in Narail in 1923. His family didn't have a lot of money. Sultan went to school for five years, but then he went to work with his father. As a child, Sultan loved to draw. He drew pictures of buildings and other things. He wanted to study at Kolkata Art College, but his family didn't have the money. In 1938, he got the money and he went to the Kolkata Art College. He stayed there for three years and then he left. He traveled around Asia and Europe and painted rivers, trees and village and its people. Then he came back to Bangladesh. People around the world know about the Sultan and his paintings. He exhibited his paintings along with the famous painters, Pablo Picasso and Salvador Dali. Sultan loved children. He established Nandan Kanan and Shisha Swargo for children. Here they could get some education and learn painting. Every year, there is a Sultan Mela in Narail. He died in 1994 at a hospital in Jashur. There was a pond full of frogs, but some of them often put their heads out of the water and croaked loudly. One day some boys were playing by the side of the pond. When they heard the frogs croaking they began to throw stones at them. All the frogs at once went down into the water. But the boys remained standing there with stones in their hands. The new game was a great fun to them. They went on pelting the frogs with stones when they raised their head above the water. Thus many frogs were hit hard and few were killed at last an old frog raised its head and said, Oh boys please. Please. Stop the cruel fun but don't throw stones at us. It is a play that we are enjoying it, said the boys. Why should we stop it? What is play to you causes death to us, this is why, you should stop it, answered the frog, the boys were ashamed of this. They left the cruel game and went away. My name is Alvi I live in Dhaka, but my family is from Chilmery in Currygram and my grandmother, and many of my relatives still live there. Last June, I went to visit my grandmother, my uncle and cousins in Chilmery. Their house is near the Jamuna River and my uncle is a fisherman and my grandfather was a fisherman, but he died about 10 years ago I didn't know him. When my sister and I visited Chilmery in June, we had so much fun. Our grandmother told us stories about our family and about the history of Bangladesh My uncle caught a lot of fish My favorite fish is chapala. It's a thin, white fish, but it's delicious. We helped our grandmother make the fish every night we also made rice and vegetables to it was a very special trip that we taked with our relatives and learned about our family and our country that we also sang songs together. Nasima is a garment worker in Dhaka, Xiao 18 years old, her family came to Dhaka from a village 8 years ago. There was river erosion in her village. They lost their home there so the family came to Dhaka that Reshma's father worked as a rickshaw driver, but he died in an accident. Reshma's uncle Rutten helped the family that he found a small house for them at Kaliampur. He took Reshma to a garment factory in Mirpur, she works there now. Her younger brother Babul goes to school. He's in class 5. Her mother stitches Nakshi Kantas at home and sells them. The garment factory is 2 kilometers from Reshma's house. I in the morning, she walks to work. Some of her friends go by bus, rickshaw, or scooter. She works from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Reshma likes to go to the to the, the cinema, but she doesn't have much free time or money for this. She often works extra hours until 6 p.m. So she can make more money, her family needs this money for food and other things. Once there lived a poor man. He had a goose. It was wonderful goose. Because it laid golden eggs. The man was very happy with the goose. Point one day he thought if he got all the eggs at a time, he would be very rich. Quickly. He was quite tempted. That as a result, he hit upon a plan to cut the belly of the goose and collect all the eggs altogether. In order to implement his plan, he took a knife. And cut the belly of the goose. To this utter surprise, he found no eggs there. Another sad news for him was that the goose died from bleeding. The farmer was shocked at the incident. He realized that he implemented a foolish plan, for his greed, he lost the wonderful goose forever.